every year on the date of the accident, it runs again as a warning to others, plunging into the gap, shrieking like a lost soul. Percy, what are you talking about? The ghost train. Driver saw it last night. Where? Asked Thomas and Toby. He didn't say. Oh, it makes my wheels wobble to think of it. Puh, said Thomas. You're just a silly little engine. I'm not scared. Thomas didn't believe in your ghost, said Percy next morning. His driver laughed. Neither do I. It was only a pretend ghost story. Percy was disappointed. That evening, he came back from the harbor. Percy knew where he was, even in the dark. Crow's Farm Crossing. We shan't be long now. He liked running at night. The rails hummed and the signal light shone green. But a broken cartload of lime lay ahead. Sam the farmer had just gone for help. Percy broke the cart to smithereens. Lime flew everywhere. He puffed quickly to the nearest signal box. Percy's driver explained what had happened. I'll see to it, said the signalman. But you'd better clean Percy, or people will think he's a ghost. Percy chuckled. Do let's pretend I'm a ghost and scare Thomas. That'll teach him to say I'm a silly little engine. Toby promised to help. Thomas was being oiled up for his evening train. Percy's had an accident, cried Toby. Poor engine, said Thomas. Botheration! That means I'll be late. They've cleared the line for you, but there's something worse. Out with it, Toby. I can't wait all evening. I've just seen something, said Toby. It, it, lo it looked like Percy's ghost. It, 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 it said it w w was com coming he here to w warn us. Pfft. Who cares? Don't be frightened, Toby. I'll take care of you. Let me in! Let me in! Wilt Percy. No, no! Not by the smoke on my chimney, chim, chim! I'll chuff and I'll puff and I'll break your door in! Oh dear, exclaimed Thomas. It's getting late. Oh, oh, I'd no idea. Oh, I, I must find Annie and Clarabelle. It was morning when Thomas returned. Where have you been? asked Toby. Ah, uh, well, said Thomas, I, I knew you'd be sad about Percy, and I, uh, I, I didn't like to intrude. I, I slept in the freight shed and... Oh, sorry, can't stop. Gotta see a coach about a train. <laughs> Percy was none the worse for his adventure and was still enjoying himself enormously. He had heard everything. Well, 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 what do you know about that? Anyone would think, chuckled Toby, that our Thomas had just seen a ghost.